Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. If the shoe don't fit, don't make it. Alright. Oh, that's my hair. <laughs> I thought that was my hair. It might be. Oh, who cares? Anyways, so Pisces. So what I was getting for you, before I even got started, because I was meditating, um, is that your belief in your purpose is your superpower. It's whatever you think you're here to do or, or whatever you put into action. It's definitely your superpower. And to keep going, to keep manifesting through that. Because you're seeing, you're seeing the tangible results of your efforts. I mean, like, like, maybe not financially, but your belief is everything. It, it's like other people would say, seeing is believing. But in your case, it's believing is seeing. Aries energy, the full, and the two of swords. Okay. Lots of chaos around you right now, Pisces. You're getting ready for the full moon in Cancer. Could be lots of competition for your affection. But as... As one of my uh, my regulars said last night, I want a name brand. Quit it with all these great value people. <laughs> I'm manifesting a name brand here. I just don't see it yet. But I'm holding on to that thought. Alright. I love you, Pisces. You guys are something else. It's like, quit sending the the great value stuff my way because I don't see you. I don't see the great value stuff. That ain't great value to me. I want, I want damn Dior. Calvin Klein at least. Come on, man. Versace, preferably. <laughs> What's crossing you is the King of Cups. Scorpio energy. Something that broke your heart. Uh, just started your video. Stop it. Yeah, and there's the Five of Wands and the Lovers again. Like I said. Love is what's crossing you. Finding balance. Finding emotional balance. Through all the pain that you've been through. And the sadness that you've endured. What it's cost you financially. And how long you waited. But you're finding balance in that right now. In the King of Cups energy. And that is your challenge. Is to find that balance. In the most recent past, you could have had somebody who offered to work together with you. Um, that's Scorpio energy there. So, Scorpio and Aries. Um, with the Three of Pentacles in the most recent past, I do feel like somebody offered to help you put your pentacles together. To help collaborate or build something. What's in the immediate future, spirit? What's in the immediate future? Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So you're going to find out the truth about this opportunity. And with the Queen of Swords, she will cut a bitch if necessary. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bam! 
bam, the emperor and the empress, immediate future Pisces. Whoever this person is making this offer in the immediate future, it is the truth. It is the yin to your yang or the yang to your yin. Aries energy, Libra and Taurus energy. So this is a divine counterpart that's coming in for you. It is your truth. It's what you, it's, it's whatever. Like I said, this is the name brand. All right. This is not great value. This is the name brand. All right. Coming in the immediate future. What is the factor affecting the situation here, Spirit? What is the factor affecting the situation? So, Pisces, you getting a name brand. <laughs> Got lots of great value people trying to get your attention. But you can't in the prize. Queen of Pentacles. As the factor affecting the situation. Somebody lied to you, Pisces, what's new? Um, and it was this Queen of Wands. And somebody trying to get away with your stuff. They could have something to do with the dream I have. She, she was an Aries. Trying to get into your energy to take your blessings because they don't know how to create that on their own. So, they were trying to take something you were creating, Pisces, to make money off of it. It's this Queen of Pentacles. What is the outside influence? What is the outside influence? You're creating wealth in some way, shape, or form. And there was somebody here who was trying to impede upon that. They ain't stop nothing. They still gonna try, Pisces. By the full moon in Cancer. And while you're going through this full moon in Cancer, I want you to mother yourself. I want you to do what's right for you. Go pamper yourself. Take a day, sit in a tub, enjoy your life. Because your manifestation... Whatever you're manifesting this full moon, this Christmas, is exactly what you're going to get. But you have to be focused. You can't be all over the place. You have to leave it up to spirit and give it to God. Because when you do that and you find the balance that you need in your own self and your love and your kindness and your giving, then you benefit. And there is the king of pentacles and the seven of swords. So this king and queen of pentacles is trying to take this divine union that's coming in for you in the immediate future. I think the last reading I have was somebody was going out of their way to stop these two energies from coming together. And they're doing everything they can. Trying to keep you blind to your own gift. Hopes and fears is the ten of pentacles, Pisces. Yay! You win! La la la! Like I said, your superpower here, Pisces, is your belief. And your purpose. And why you're here. To do what you got to do. And your reward for that. Is a name brand relationship. Between you and spirit. If nothing else. Because I do feel like it's between two people. Two people that are supposed to come together. For the greater good. Going to be very lucrative Pisces. And whoever this king and queen of pentacles is, they already know it. That's why they're trying to get in the way. 
They're trying to take your blessing. <laughs> I love you, Pisces. It's like, it's okay. I know what I got coming. I'll wait. I ain't got no problem with waiting. <laughs> Look at me. Uh, I got I got all this going on in my head while I'm hanging upside down from a tree. Yeah, I'll wait on my manifestation because I know I'm making magic because I'm the boss of me. I don't have to hurry up for nobody. <laughs> I love you, Pisces. I love you so much. <laughs> You guys make my day every time I read for you. I, was like, I might not see it, but I'm going to leap anyway. Ah. <laughs> my eyes is closed. <laughs> and it's okay. I'll wait. It's a whole ten of pentacles. So, yeah, if I got to wait a little bit longer, I'm I'm okay with that. And, and these people are trying to figure out a way to take it from you, Pisces. And they can't. They can't. They could be the ones in the two of swords. They, they keep trying. But there ain't nothing they can do about it. Because spirit won't let them see nothing. <laughs> like in that dream. Where it was like I was I was willing to show somebody something, you know, because I was a little being, you know, being uh the naive Pisces that I am. And I was like, sure, you can see it. But then I tried to show it to him. And spirit blurred it out. It, it, spirit was like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. You can't. You're not going to see this. I'm sorry. I'm not going to let you see what one of my divine beings is doing. Despite their naivety about going, oh, sure. The cold hard truth, the facts, that is a big, huge yes, Pisces. Name brand. Ace of Pentacles and the lovers. <laughs> you can't name brand love. <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from. If you if you're already married, it could be um, you know, just family. And whoever these other people are that's trying to take your gift, it ain't their purpose. They can't take it. They can't have it. Can't have it. The world card, the moon, and the tower. Wow. This is the challenge, Pisces. What you don't see in the world. And possibly a tower moment. Because you balanced and shit. So, now... The world or karmic cycle is being closed out. And I don't think you see this coming. Scorpio Pisces energy. You're not seeing this coming. Somebody's coming. They could be from a different part of the world, Pisces. They could live in a whole other country somewhere else. I do feel like this is a long distance match for you. Page of so wow. So this person's been watching you, Pisces. They want to work with you. They want to collaborate with you. They've been watching you do whatever it is you do. And they're bringing an offer. A miracle. A wish come true. Seven of Wands. They are very, very guarded. So that's why they've been watching you behind the scenes. To see if you are true blue to who you say you are. Are you the star? Or are you another phony that's going to trick them? Because there's plenty of those. I mean, take your pick. And Pisces over here going, I'll wait. Sure. No problem. I know what's coming. And your belief in that, Pisces, is what's bringing it in. Ah, the high priestess. 
and the Knight of Cups and the Five of Wands. Man, are they trying to stop this union from happening. Who, whoever these haters are, they go on kicking and screaming. And I told people this. You stand in your truth going through this ascension. Or you'll be drugged. Kicking and screaming the whole way. Because you're fighting against the tide. You're not ebbing and flowing. And I do feel like whoever this person is, or people are, because they're, they're, I feel like there's more than one Pisces. Could be a whole damn couple. Um, they're doing everything in their power <laughs> to try to stop you from your Knight of Cups. I think he's scared of it anyway, Pisces. <laughs> I think you're scared of love at this point because you just you just want the facts. You just want the truth. You don't want to know. You know, don't hand me no pies in the sky. I don't care about your money. I don't care, you know, I, I care about my purpose and where I'm supposed to be in the world. Your stuff is none of my concern. And that's exactly what's bringing this in. Is the fact that you don't care about it. That you're you're focused. And I and do feel like you are dead focused. On your work. On your plan. On whatever it is that you're trying to create. And it's happening really fast. And you know it is. Time has sped up. That's why you're over here going. I can wait. Not a problem. Justice for your work. Eight of Pentacles and Justice. Libra Pisces energy. Wow. So whatever this is that you're waiting on Pisces in the immediate future, it's coming around. And because you were patient, because you waited, it's going to be very fruitful for you. can't make it up even if I wanted to make it up I couldn't make it up okay so this this queen of pentacles wants to fight you for your ten of cups to make you wait and burden you put all the blame on you for their problems it's all your fault Pisces don't you know even if you didn't know now you do because it's all your fault it's all your fault they didn't get their ten of cups and you're getting yours. You manifested it, Pisces. And you waited. You were willing to wait for it. You were willing to be patient for it. And that's what's quickly bringing it in. Because you're not... You, I don't think you're expecting this. I really don't think you're expecting this. Like I said, it's like you're in the... Okay, I'll wait. I got no problem with waiting. But whoever this king of wands is, emperor, empress, or whatever, they come and told you, Pisces. Whatever you were waiting on here is coming. Cancer and Scorpio energy is coming. Bam! Down goes the towers. And I think these towers are going to fall on these people's heads and they're going to be upset. <laughs> Poor thing. Poor thing. You'd be okay, I promise. Because this person's coming in and they are coming in strong. Whether it's another person or it's just your own intuition, Pisces, something's coming in strong. And it's like, ta-da, I'm here, bitches. That could be you, Pisces. I'm here, bitches. What is this Ten of Pentacles about? <laughs> Devil's upset he didn't stop you, Pisces. 
The devil is Chad. Made the wrong choice. Capricorn energy. Somebody made the wrong choice here, Pisces. Maybe they made you wait on your money to the last minute because they they were trying to, to manifest this for you. To keep you attached to an outcome. That you said, I'll wait. No problem. They tried to make you sad. Get you obsessed over money. Obsessed over material things. And if you're in that state of mind, you will definitely get disappointed. That's how the universe works. So if you're obsessing about that Ten of Pentacles, above all else, and not looking at the blessings in front of you. You will manifest more of that. What is this Knight of Pentacles about as the final outcome? And this hanged man. Oh, yeah. So what I'm seeing here, Pisces, that is that anybody's um, anybody's intentions that were set in front of you, that's why you're waiting. Because you're waiting for the truth to be exposed about all these people. And they worried that it's going to happen. Because it is. Nine of Souls, Eight of Wands. They stressing really hard, Pisces. And they very upset that their magic isn't working. Wondering how you got out of this. Because you you, you know, it's like they're holding everything up. They're trying to stop everything from happening for you on purpose. So you'll be sad and lonely and isolated and stressed and that's what they want. <laughs> Pisces is over here going, I'm hanging. Ain't no big thing. Like on my Instagram where the where the uh the manager of the place was a Pisces and a customer came in and the customer was saying you know every time I come in here I have a problem and a Pisces manager goes why do you keep coming in here <laughs> it's perfect it's perfect I'm just hanging around why do you keep coming in here and start bitching I'm gonna walk the other way because I ain't listening to that crap because I do feel like that has something to do with all this. You're going to start bitching. I'm going to go over here. I ain't nobody got time for this. The gift here, Pisces, is that you bossed up and you overcame any of these people's, you know, any of these people's screwing around with you, trying to mess with you, Trying to compete with you. Trying to, out of jealousy, out of pure hatred, these people. This person ain't got no money anymore. They, they might have had money before, but they don't got money anymore. And they're very upset that you're getting yours anyway, even though they went out of their way to try to stop you. That's what broke them, though. They got to understand, you can't manifest for somebody else. You can only manifest for yourself, especially when you have mal, malicious intentions, which this person had malicious intentions towards you. So they tried to compete with you. They tried to do the same thing you did, only out of competition, not because it was where their heart was. 
See, you did this out of your heart's desire, out of your higher knowing. This person was trying to compete with you doing the same thing, but not from that higher place. They were doing it to try to say, well, if you can do it, I can do it. They was lying to themselves. Because this person thought that they could be, do, and everything else that you are. But see, you, you did it from a place of purpose. You did it from a higher knowing of what your purpose was. This person did it out of hate and competition and jealousy. So it failed. Of course it failed. <laughs> Pisces over here hanging going, Yep, I dropped that a long time ago. <laughs> Spirit told me, Spirit told me drop that a long time ago. Go within, not to worry about it. And that's exactly what you did, Pisces. Now you're seeing it all materialize in your reality, and you're going, "Don't oh! told you so. I told you so. I told you get that devil attached to you. If you if you, if you kept going the way you're going, you didn't listen." Nobody ever listens till it's too late, Pisces. Till it's over. 171117. We have gift, main mail, unexpected income, distant horizons, and concern. This person is concerned with your well being, Pisces. So they're coming in to help you. To give you some kind of gift, material gift, I mean, for your gift, which is your superpower, which is your higher knowing of your purpose. So this person's coming in to help support that. And I do feel like they're traveling from a long distance away. Something's about to change, Pisces. Towers are falling everywhere. Which side are you going to be on when that tower falls? Listen to your higher self. Listen to your higher guidance. You know what your purpose is here. Follow it. And don't doubt it. Not even for a second. Because that is your superpower. That is the thing that is going to lead you right to your Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Yet these people are trying to fight you for. Either etherically or on the, on the on the surface level, because the angelic realm is here. You guys need to watch my general because it's called City of Angels. Because there's a part that I was getting in from that movie in that reading where there are angels all around blowing kisses of unconditional love. Engagement, partnership, commitment. Like I said, not a great value is, is a name brand, Pisces. <laughs> is it a soulmate? Mm, maybe not. It's definitely not a repetitive pattern from the past. But it is going to create stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, and flexibility. And whoever this third party is that's trying to interfere they are on a solid block from the angels the angels looked at them and said yeah you only wish and here is the emperor again and this relationship like i said this doesn't have to be a soulmate pisces this could be somebody who's in authority somebody who has power that's going to help bring you harmony there's going to be some some kind of a oh it definitely sexual even if it's not um marriage or whatever or soulmate it definitely got something to do with your creativity and your sexuality pisces this person finds you very, very attractive in more ways than one. 
They're coming to fulfill some of your wishes. So you can move on from the heartache and loss and the emotional withdrawal with hope, awareness, and celebration of your destiny because you stood in your truth. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Material harvest. Whatever your creation was from your higher self is what's coming in, Pisces. Okay, so this is a choice. Definitely a significant change. And you're the boss of you, so you get to choose, Pisces. This says, I don't know what it says because it's the same color as the card. This says, life direction, flow, You respond in consequences. Your response. Okay. So, everything has a cause and effect. All right, Pisces? So, where you end up on this, on this uh, trajectory is going to be up to you. Your response is going to be everything because there's going to be consequences. So if you respond in a very hasty way, which very good possibility in the immediate future, it might not be the best for you. Maybe you just need to hang over here and wait for a minute for more information to be revealed before you make this decision. Weigh it out very carefully, Pisces. Rest, rejuvenate, Slow down, connect to nature, and calm your system. So, this isn't just about the mind. This is calming the entire system. That's why the hanged man's here. Holding you up on purpose. And this, this Aries energy is your inner authority. Trust yourself. Listen to your true self. Trauma versus guidance. So either gonna, you're going to respond to trauma here, Pisces, or you're going to respond in the guidance of your higher self. You are the boss of you. You are the authority in your life. And you're the one that decides Which character are you going to be in the creatrix of life? All right? Which character are you going to be, Pisces? The baby or the mama? The one that just reacts or the one that guides? It says, express emotions. Birth your creations and womb energy. So, sacral chakra, again. You are birthing something new into the, in the creatrix here, in the creation of Earth. And your own inner authority is what needs to be at the helm here. Not the trauma response of the child, but the nurturing motherly response of the parent even if it's not you know even if it's something that you know gonna trip your triggers because I do feel like you're gonna, you're gonna take time to just go off on your own and see it for what it truly is as opposed to what somebody's trying to make it look like 
because I do feel like somebody is going out of their way desperately to get in between you and another energy uh, to keep you two from coming together. And you must forgive if you want to be free. Pisces, you don't have no problem with this. Do it for yourself. Whatever you haven't forgiven about yourself, and I do have, believe it has to do with more you than anyone. You are your own worst, worst enemy at times. Forgive yourself. Forgive them. Wait for your manifestation because it's on its way. And stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders. It's not your responsibility. Get your feelings out. All of them. Even the ones that scare you. So whatever this is that's keeping you and holding you back. From your inner authority. Which is being confident in your decisions. Because you know all decisions have consequences. You just have to be confident in knowing that you are the boss of you. And you are creating the life that you choose, that you are choosing to create. From your sacral, from the womb, male or female. It's time to rest. It's time to sit back and wait on more information to be delivered to you and not to trauma react, not to, to rush in with a trauma response because that choice is very, very important to your path. This says, in the heart of hearts, I do love you truly and want to be with you. You mean the world to me, and I never wanted to hurt you. You hear my eyes roll? <laughs> I admire you for being so bold and brave in your life. I do believe they do, Pisces. I said that makes making funny noises. In the heart of hearts, I do love you truly. Prove it. Right now, I'm not seeing any evidence of that whatsoever. But, you know, if you want to come and prove me wrong, you're welcome to try. Like I said, Pisces, your magic will happen. Don't think that it won't. It's you rushing in in a trauma response that will change things if you're not careful. It will change the tra trajectory of your, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're manifesting from a place of lack, you will only manifest more lack. It's time to change that. Time to make that different. Gaia. You got Gaia. That is a guardian dragon. Funny how that came out with this, with this reading because of all the motherly energy here, mother and fatherly energy of like bringing divine energy to the world, and not not from a place of trauma, but from a place of balance. Where you at? Here it is. All right. So this is have courage to stand up for what you believe in your heart to be true. The dragon Gaia is the earth keeper and carries Gaia's ancient knowledge deep within her. She is one of the oldest dragons yet come to earth. I'm the etheric body of your planet. 
I urge you to protect her and all who dwell upon her. I will guide you into restoring balance. What is done cannot be undone. And alas, some things are gone forever. Have courage to stand up for what you believe in your heart to be true. And I will stand with you. You can be that change. Ah, Call upon her support when you are working on a new project and need to anchor its energy fully. You can invoke her wisdom when any form of group of group work is taking place to anchor the collective vibration to the planet. Make use of her grounding energy. She is also here now to help ground the frequencies of the fifth dimension and above, which are coming in our con in our to our own consciousness. She will guide us when we are ready to reignite the light of the Earth's grids. The deep healing this invokes will help Gaia and us humans to build peace on Earth and a future that is sustainable. Wow. Talk about synchronicities. Well, those are your messages, my baby sharks. I am taking collections uh, or donations on my PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. If you're interested in helping me, I'm going to um, make like little gift bags for all the homeless people around here. Um, there's a lot of them. And I don't think some of them are here at their own request, if you know what I mean. Uh, you know, y'all you, you know what's going on in the world right now. People are losing their homes and their jobs. They need help. So, if you have it, dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever, help. I plan to. All right. Those are your messages, my baby shocks. Please remember, press the like button, subscribe, and share because that's free. And I see you next time. Now, live stream, 3 o'clock today. Yeah. Take care. Bye for now.